Hello, I'm Vera Sonde. I'm here at the Smithsonian Folklife Festival, where Chinese food is being showcased in an entirely new way to Americans here. Let's go check it out. The food at the China section was not like American Chinese food, but more traditional, like Mapu Tofu, which is a traditional spicy pork dish. They also taught people how to make sour beef soup. Unlike American Chinese food, traditional Chinese food uses much less sauce and values freshness. So they don't actually use as much sauce or seasoning into it. They rather have the ingredients itself to bring out the, the flavor. Not only is Chinese food being shown here, there's also a whole new different culture that many Americans don't know about, Ken Kenya. Let's turn it over to Makaya. Hello, I'm Makaya McComb, and there's actually two types of Kenyan food presented here today, upland and coastal style. Let's go check it out. At certain booths in the festival, Kenyan natives showed how to make classic dishes from all around the country. Some of the Kenyan foods served include samosas, ugali, a type of cornmeal mash, along with spinach, beef, and fish. Generally, we cook a lot with vegetables. We, we boil our food for a long time, but we also cook very simply. We, we don't over-exert too much on the food. Yeah, so the Smithsonian only happens to a country perhaps once in a lifetime. Being able to share food, food it's one of the easiest ways for someone to understand another culture. I'm Ferris Sande. And I'm Makai McCollum. Now let's turn it back to the studio.